so uh, we start with that very common topic that is debugging and very it's also challenging this topic it's hot in the it market in also the in javascript world so um, first we have to know that we all know we what is debugging so debugging i think is a process of examining the program and we can find the errors and fixing it so it's a process means it should have initialization stage we do something in the middle stage and we got some decision point with finding the errors and it is quite obvious that while writing the code we find some errors we cannot ignore the errors the errors might be logical errors might be syntax error but we have to some points or we have to some rules that we can and identify the errors from the code so debugging in javascript every where like we are using the angular we are using react or normal javascript debugging process we all have to follow with some rules and regulations so to identify these errors we need debuggers that can go through the entire code programs and can identify the errors and we also fix it up so why debugging so debugging we are doing for identify the errors we can analyze the errors and we can find the errors locations this is a cycle is a process you can see all my screen that this identify error to fixed and validate these all nine steps are revolving for getting a good amount of code so if we can find out the errors with a some similar process we can follow we get some benefits also from the debugging process to prevent incorrect operations of software or system debugging is used to find and resolve bugs or defects that we all know these things but most challenging part is that debugging strategy so when we stuck anywhere for writing the code that time we don't think that how we can solve but we can anonymously without any following some rules and regulation we just start the changing the code and if it works it's great not a problem in the first time we can resolve the errors but when it does not work again we try so i told that this is not a good strategy but we all follow this kind of strategy but we should not follow because the result is we got stuck we can't understand where is the problem we we are that particular position that out of ideas so we can we can still we can still uh, so that it does not work out of ideas and we cannot do for progressive manner right so try changing the thing i think it's more likely to be causing the bug this process we all follow first time but when we start then we go to reverse thing but we can see this slide we could also see a binary search to find the problem so code begins executing this is a one step you can see it's a life cycle also and code finishing so in the steps so many things we are doing we are doing the print log breakpoints test assumption this kind of thing we are doing but we cannot do in the similar manner without some process without some planning we are doing this thing so it says some without delta process it's sometime work sometime not work and we are investigating our time 
and so many times we are wasting but we cannot get the we cannot produce the good amount of result from the fixing the bug and the debugging the error but systematically we we should stress the code part right so we can see the same code begin executing this process we started and in this process we have to some dig deeper into the code side with there are some rules and regulations we have to follow for the debugging while debugging the process and then we can get maximum amount of success result so we systematically move through the steps we should not without systematically if you go then we cannot we may or may not be produce the exact amount of result or output while debugging the code we should follow this kind of pipelines or this kind of rules then we can be succeed and there is three checklist given checks and result so we are given some inputs while debugging the code we assume that to be true at this point it may or may not be checks things that we are checking with print statement we can do the logging statement some breakpoints debugger watcher everything we can use while checking the code but result what we saw when we tested out each of our checks did it match expectations so these three pillars or three checklist we can establish that our statement that this checklist are there we can follow these rules and in javascript there are three main methods in while we are debugging the code one basic very basic we are all using the console.log and we can the console output while debugging the code alternatively we can use debugger it using inside our code base or inside the but inside the browser itself and also the breakpoints that we all using so console.log in javascript world this is very common we all using these things so they are all console output we can see and debugger is a process we can see it's a set of tool where we have to examine that some steps we can step into the process we can step over the process and we can accelerate the output with the with that using debugger and we can also add the breakpoints while debugging the code and the breakpoints that has to be nested that has to be straight forward so this is three debugging methods basically we follow in our code base and one more thing that uh, when javascript world now chrome dev tools had introduced and chrome dev tools provide bunch of you can see the options that we can follow and we can get the exact output while minimum amount of effort from our side and we get the exact results from the debugging this extension we all have this extension and we all have follow and it's enabled in is a pre means predefined in the browser so everybody can access this dev tool right now first we are writing one code in my system like this code i will debug and we get some that how the changes are coming how the changes are there so we can also understood so this is my page as one normal javascript on html i have written over there and i will add on ajax call this page looks like this one
first we'll write one small code just objective is that when i change some city and it will show the weather output a ajax call i will write normal javascript you go the ajax call I'll produce the result in the ZZ. URL is there.
So Kaushik, I think here yeah. we need to add one more table heading, right? Uh, just three table heading I will take, okay, for that purpose. And because in body we have a two column and in heading we have uh, assign only one. Table we have to complete uh, that table is there here. Uh, yeah, one minute. One minute. And I think I'll not add any debugger right now. Yeah. So country some value are missing. Okay, we can solve that. How we can solve this value, right? So you can also uh, do one thing. You can create the editors first means when i open this inspect element this console are coming right we are going to source code and we are going to your file system so what happened in that file system we can also do as visual studio code style st style so you can also editing the code from that file system right add your workspace and then you select your folder you see the one allow option are coming so we are also when we allow these all files are coming whatever the code base is there so index.html right so index.html if you want to change some value and go to the code base
you can see this value is automatically edited over here so when the code base is bigger and so many codes you are handling so that time you can also change through the file system so all code should be executed in the code base affected in the code base also so i, I write the new edit this text in the new edit option so it's automatically coming in the code base right you can see in the title new editors coming okay now what might be changes how many changes are there you can also find out these tools changes do one thing i will change the font size you can see changes are affected over there so which changes you are doing so it will notify in the changes tab when we run the code the value will be one minute this value the city Let's see the value is coming so code is affected uh, edited over here as well as so you can see this is the stage where breakpoints go all step watch everything is everything is there so breakpoint means when i add the breakpoints you can see one breakpoint added and when i add another breakpoint so two breakpoints are added and i want to watch the result in the watch step result okay Koushik. now yes a uh, Kaushik, like uh, suppose uh, as a, a fresher or as a new person to programming, uh, like want to curious uh, to uh, execute uh, how the program runs. So I will put a debugger for all the lines manually. Uh, so yeah. how can I put debugger uh, uh, for all the lines uh, at a time without with one click? All lines. Online, yes. Uh, so I think it's a line by line execution, na? No, no, but uh, but it will redirect it to library files. If you go on pressing F10 or uh, like upper arrow like that, it will be redirecting to some other uh, pages. Some jQuery.js, jQuery.min. Ah, so it will come. So you, you know, you don't worry about that. How the calls are executing one by one, it will go to this page. Right now, I am at this call again, one year, Ajax call, right? Yes. And I add it in the table. So, result I want to see, examine so from where the results are coming, okay? So, I am to change and submit. You can see the debugger is added. And you can see the four options are coming, right? Yes. One is step over, another is step into, and then step out. So step over means it will halt in the next execution level. Means when the next debugger is present, it will stop over there, OK? okay. And when you go in the step into this, that means in the Ajax call, it will go. Now I am doing one thing, step into, OK? You can see. The next call goes to the jQuery min.js, means your plugins. Where the jQuery means.js is there, the call is going over there, not the next point. Okay. So until and unless the data is coming from the server, it will go. Okay. 
you can see and the call stack you can get the call stack right so all call stack are executing okay and then when i resume the script it will go to the next debugger point when i got the result right and you see in the watcher in the watch i add one result object so result object i am getting over there so you no need to add one by one means where the call is there you can add the line debugger line over there and it, and it will execute one by one the call how the call is going on and you can see the loader is loading still now okay okay now your data is coming so some variable is matching not matching that's why it's coming undefined so that's why the debugger in the javascript we can also add one more thing i want to see in the chrome they it will added one more thing that in the console log eager revolution this is newly added eager revolution eager revolution means if you will write something like console a uh, right string so your render means how the output is showing that will not executing but if you will add the eager revolution tick box then i will write anything write that automatically it will pass okay this one features and one more thing in the code base this is our video code base same thing i want to show that uh, that is our console.log and you can see the debugger has so many options like verbos info warnings and errors so if you find only errors and check out over there not info it only show the errors how many errors are there if i will load the page it will only fetch the how many errors are there those error are coming in front of your you know, console log you can see only errors are coming and one more interesting thing is that i want to see only info so you can see the infos are coming those are written in the console these infos are coming now one more important checkbox is preserve log if i'll add the preserve log it will save the state the console and again when we hit the browser the same thing if you add the preserve log the it will add uh, the it will save it means when i hit the browser it will take some time you can see it's navigate to this part you come one minute sorry uh, it's coming so i added the preserve logs now again i will hit the browser so these logs are already there so if you will not check the preserve logs the only the current state log will come okay and 
one imp another important thing that uh, also your snippet so what happened snippet is your small chunk of code base means you can write your code base over there and you can also execute like my custom code i've added write the alert on hello okay and i will play the snippet you can see the code is executed you can add multiple snippet over here so this snippet not domain specific is a browser means this this is accessible from anywhere if i will take one tab and i will go inspect for this tab and go to the source you will see the snippets are there so multiple snippet you can add and for the file system uh, the difference between the file system and page is that from the page you just only changes but the changes will not be affected in your code base but in the file system you will do you let's suppose i'll take one file uh, delete okay and i add one file dot mm. html and see edit dot html present so very simple and also you also change the theme the debugger theme you can also change change for the run command so if i will dark theme we can add the dark theme over here so this is normal javascript coding how can i debug then i move on to this slide the compare your changes with page and overrides i will add one more file in the react the yes sorry to interrupt yes i have a question on a snippet yes. uh, like uh, how can we use a snippet like uh, uh, in any file uh, the any variable file, of file is will, it's it's a chunk of code okay this code it will add with that new snippet you can add okay this yeah. code so can it uh, it can be use a variable of our files which yeah, so files whatever you can add debugger also means with the snippet you can also add debugger Okay. Okay. If you want to create a custom function and test your, ah, yes, you can see that I I will add debugger so it will pause the debugger mode. Okay, alert. It will come. Okay. So it can be relate to my code also, no? Which yes, is yes, running okay. on the browser. You you have many codes, chunk of codes. Okay. So you mm -hmm. want to examine, test some code separately, not the main code. Okay. That time you can add the snippet. Okay. Okay. And write write the code, and you can also debugging debugging process will be started. Okay. Okay, fine. Clear. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Hi, Kaushik. Uh, yeah. Sharan, uh, how can we uh, import existing uh, code base in? Uh, yes, it's system? a file system. You can see the file system is there, right? Okay. Yeah. So page and file system means if you write if you uh, hit one if your any code base, okay. So mm -hmm. by default. Sorry, it's interrupting because the debugger is there. One minute. So by default, you can see the pager coming. Okay. 
this is the page code base so you cannot inject anything over there but in file system it uh, acts like a editor your a, a, your editor okay this editor okay okay what yeah it's a editor in the visual studio code base the same editor you will get in your file system same thing you can also do means i will write header dot edit dot html okay so h1 okay. hello yeah yeah you can see yes in yes h1 hello is coming so you sometimes the problem i face so many codes we are trying to write in the runtime okay we cannot preserve the code yes and same code we are going to write in our code base and then again hit the browser so this get a read of this kind of repetitive step we can take this kind of this system file system where you can write your code base instead of flying uh, on flying okay on the fly you cannot write you can write in your own system and you can execute the code is that clear okay. yeah yeah that's clear but if suppose i want to import existing my code right uh, maybe one file uh, like uh, application.js or something like that and I, I want to modify that file existing file on the on fly mm -hmm. so how yeah, can we... also, yeah, you can also mm -hmm. import this thing over there in the react code base just in it i'll show okay okay uh, i'm trying in angular side by side no, angular, then... everywhere everywhere it will work it's not that only javascript is working but in the angular or react also like i will okay. uh, i will run one code in the angular right this is i'm trying code. to add uh, so uh, uh, add folder to work play a place so i click on that one and then i browse my uh, project but uh, there is no file you can, you can see this, this is my angular code base right yes it's this is angular hmm. now I'll go into the source. This is my code base, right? Angular code base. I'll copy. Okay. And try to, and I just remove the existing things over there. Add your folder. Okay, okay. Now I got it. And then paste it. You can see angular call when the link is established with the allow okay you can see yes 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 so welcome okay first yeah. i have to see that where welcome is there so yes, yes component you can same thing okay first name i want to change you can see yeah yeah First, you will coming and also it will be reflected in your code base. I think that. Uh, yes, whatever we change in the console, that will be saving our file, right? Oh, you no need to change means if you changes multiple places, right? You cannot remember this thing. And you yes. and if you go, your uh, changes. There is one more tools is changes, right? Yes, yeah. right. It will show the how uh, many changes are there, right? Just a minute. I will add the first. Email. So this is my con uh, source. Now I want to add this thing. The first name. One minute. <laughs> Well, let's see it's coming in the changes section you can get the changes means i'll edit the changes in this file and also sorry it's coming over there so don't worry your changes is coming 
um, you you how many changes you are doing this uh, you, you you will get this this step you will get these steps okay change step so your changes you can see right i in a minute will show that angular call remove now one more interesting thing is that how many styles now i'm coming to the css part so how many styles you are using in your code base the summary you want to get so if you'll go this tool and more tools and we'll go css overview if you run the capture overview you'll see these elements how many elements are using so there are six external style sheet in that page particular in the dashboard 32 inline element and this all summary we will get over there also the color color infographic font unused declarations media queries where the media queries are affected so so many places you can get the summary section okay Uh, Koshik, yes. Uh, what is this components profiler Redux? Ah, I will come. Means uh... no, it's an additional plugin you added. No additional plugins. Light. Uh, it's a React Dev tools. It's a React Dev Dev tools. Okay. 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 When we add the React Dev tools, so you can get the Chrome. extension okay so you can find your i i have added react developer tools okay. react dev tools so that's why it's showing okay okay so if you add it will show in your components in your files also next point i'll move is uh, coverage and network request blocking so this is also important because sometimes we cannot understand that which code are not using still it is there in the code base which js where uh, we are writing but still it's not using so in the coverage and network request blocking means we can also block our network request what the network requests are coming that we can also block and we also get the coverage let's see if you write you can see the page is loading one minute I will add the recording. So, so many JS are using over there, but their utilization we can get one as summary, right? Just uh, wait for uh, loading fast. It takes some time, just a minute. So you can see that 56.3% uh, belongs to blocks of JavaScript. That has not been executed. The rate part not executed, but only 
this part is executed so you can get the coverage section and total outputs how many uh, in inside the javascript or css file which code are blocking which code are using that summary you can also get the coverage section let's run one code in my site in the react i'll add one code Just try to execute the code base first. Not adding this code and create one user list API call. And this is my API endpoint. write the function function component i am using to the run list looping into loop step Import axios.
d pi l of number two And this is my component is ready now. Export it's called this component and try to debug user list. And this is my app dot chase user list is. Let's start this way. Now, this time my data is coming, everything is okay, but I want to debug now Visual Studio code with how the code is debugged from the Visual Studio. So you can see that. Uh, delete it. You press Control Shift D, and it will open one window. And you have to create a JSON file. When you click, and your I will take the edge launch. Now. This is my code I have added. Now I click, but I have to add the debugger over here. The debugger. This way we also add the debugger. And also we can add the breakpoint. So two things we can also do. Let's see what happened. We this time I am not debugging from the browser, I am debugging from the Visual Studio. You can see that all things are coming. Whatever you can see in the browser, your watch, your breakpoints, your call stack, everything is present. And I want to watch the response. You can add from here your response. First, it's not available. When you run, you can see. The first in the use effect is the call, the gate user is over here. And same tool, this is a tool, you can see, this is a tool. This tool, you also can get its places. Now, same thing, you can also step in over or step into. Now I'm step into the other, okay? You can say, Kaushik, Hello. can you show yes. again how did you run this code? Because I missed. Just a minute. I just uh, come means the complete this step and then I will see again. So, okay, just a minute. And then it will go the debugger. One by one, you can step in. Okay. You can see, you no need to remember that call from where to where the call is going, it will automatically go. You, I am not adding any debugger in the React DOM development.js. It will go.
it is our debugging window and then the values values are coming if uh, inspect over here and i also add the debugger in the user list debug you can see it's a real time means when i add the debugger it will also come over here so two ways you can also debugging from the visual studio code base and also debugger Race. I will add this. So my response are added. Yes. So the debugger is added in the Visual Studio Code. I remove this one. Means whenever you launch the debugger, it will create a automatic JSON file. Launch dot JSON file. And here you add your URL in which you are in which port the actually react is running this port you can add and then you can start the debugger so i remove this code delete it okay control shift d and then age location age launch the debugger point will come you can click its debug anyway that means the dev tools is running i'll close the dev tools and run it debug no It will take some time to execute the code in the dev tools. Oh, sorry. It actually this will be in run so see debugger is added automatically because i have not removed the debugger and then run uh, one more thing that I want to add and that browser one minute. This is also helpful. Pause on exception means sometimes we observe that our exceptions are coming in our console but if you will notify the exception so if is there any error the, it will stop over there means i will execute the code base if no debugging is going on debugging method and then set loading one right okay let's see what i mean uh 
ऐसी will stop in that place not depend on me i'll change another hello over there to do one will pass what happen is not defined also but cheaper i show the demo for that very fast i'll add this thing over here on a minute the pause on exception uh i get call i will click one or ready one how oh, it's coming on see this part. you can see the pause is also already paused in debugger in that exception because the dom exception it is clearly told that fail to execute the query selector means invalid so when you debug that time pause on debugger should be on from your side if you will not add and ready function i added over here and then i don't add this thing i want to error you can see it is coming over here after running the code it will throw the error in the console but if you will add in that pause on debugger it stop the execution okay hello is there any question yes yeah uh, me hello No, no, consider. We are ready. Okay, so today we can stop over here, and tomorrow we'll come again with that lighthouse audit tab. This sentry, this another tools. This will come over there. Okay. Okay, consider. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, consider. Hmm. Thanks, consider. Okay. Thank you, Koshi. Okay. Thanks, 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 Koshi. If you have any questions or anything, you can post in the group. I will answer. Yeah, sure, Koshi. Sure. Thanks, Koshi. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Bye. All. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Koshi. Yeah.